Hi Gemini, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now, some people are requesting to, you know, to have the weekly forecast. Because it seems like they're getting a little bit impatient. Waiting for all the uh, annual forecast to be done. Well, I was just waiting for everything to, you know, to be over and um, to bring back the, uh, what do you call this, the uh, weekly forecast. But since that you asked for it. All right, Gemini, let's take a look. November 3rd to November 9th. What's going to be coming your way? Mm -hmm. Well, looks like the end of the week for you, Gemini. Seems to be good. Um, there are just a few things, you know, dealing with a younger air sign that is very, uh, seems like this person has some attitude problems. And a bit of a bipolar. So this is the only thing that will be like uh, ruining your week. But the rest of your week seems to be really good. Hmm. A change of situation. And it seems like whatever that is, you know, the wheels will be turning for you this week. Whatever that is bad in the past, it will be good. Whatever that's good, it will be bad. But anyway... It seems like whatever situation that you're in, you will manage to get yourself out. You will manage to get the solution and you will be successful in attaining all the, um, you know, the things that you need to resolve during this week. There's also a contract, bank issues or legal issues that you have to deal with. But accordingly, you will be organizing everything and you will be doing it in time. Okay. Somebody from the past will also be coming back into your life, which is another air sign. And this is somebody from the past that you used to be with someone who knows you so well it could be the uh, the mother or the father of your child and there will be a reconciliation or rekindlement of your mm, friendship you know or connection and you've been waiting for this person for a long period of time to come around but then this week there will be a big talk big discussions and you feel like this person have already changed but be very careful we are already we're under the indecisive uh, period okay so um it's very normal and usual that during the retrograde people from the past gifts on coming back into your life or knocking on your door so try to balance the logic if this is per if this person is for real or not for real and there will be a travel that you'll be making something that you've been wishing for aiming or that you really want to have or that you've been planning for a long period of time will be thwarted or that will have that you have to reschedule because of some work emergencies or there will be some like something like an emergency about your work or the one that's supposed to replace you to take over for you to sit for you or to take charge for you is not gonna come or will have some form of sickness now for those who's already married and with children, looks like if you have an air sign child, um, this person or this child will be giving you a big headache. Some school problems and some complaints that you'll be receiving are that there are some school stuff that you have to deal with that you're not really aware that it's been going on for quite some time until that someone will tell you that that is what's exactly going on. So you have to attend to this or you have to you know, um, know what's really going on. And you'll be a little bit surprised that your child did not even ask help from you. You know, it has to come from another people or another or neighbor or, or person or whoever it is. So that's the only, you know, this is the only part that will be breaking your heart. And 
You've been thinking about for quite some time to go on a vacation along with your family, but every time that you would try to, you know, opt for a long holiday or a vacation, something always comes up. And this is what your family has been always complaining, especially your spouse, that you don't really have time for them. You're always, always not around, always busy, always preoccupied, and you don't really have time to spend time with your family, which is, you know to yourself that that's not true, that if you're not going to be working or if you're not going to be spending a lot of time in the office or in your company or business or whatsoever, you know to yourself that your family will starve or you won't be able to have this kind of life, okay? You won't be able to give it to them. So you will be a little bit defensive, hurt, and... A little bit, um, you know, like, a, it's like it will make you think, you know, that you only want what's best for your family, but it's like they don't really understand where you're coming from, and you're already having a hard time balancing your time with your health, especially, you know, um, your family doesn't even know that you have some, some, it's like you're dealing with some health problems on your own. And you don't want them to know because you don't want them to worry. But all they do is scorn you for being always busy and not being there for them. Okay? So, it seems like this is the week where you will be planning for a big trip for the entire family. And I feel like for those who's the, um, for those who are still single, looks like there is somebody from the past which is either this person already got married or already married and they're going to try to come back into your life um but i feel like this you know at this point you will only sit down and talk and you will try to set yourself free or you will be choosing freedom you don't want to get involved with someone who's already married or already with a um uh, what do you call this like with a responsibility and you don't want to ruin someone else's family. All right. And work-wise, it seems like it's going to be another busy week for you, but not that much. I mean, it's busy the usual, but it's not really that crazy busy. I feel like at this point you need to um, focus on your health. Uh, especially if you're dealing with some lever, um, colon, or, you know, abdominal related stuff, you need to pay attention to your, um, you know, you need to pay attention to your health once and for all. It's not just all about the money, it's not just all about the luxury, but health is also wealth, you know? So... You know, your work and your money has been so great. I mean, it's been doing great for the past few weeks or for the past few months this year. But your health is something that you haven't been paying attention to. And, and you also need to learn how to love yourself. I mean, some Geminis have been like um, going through some period of insecurities especially if you're 45 above, okay? And your family seems like it's been like up and down, especially your marriage, okay? But then this week, there will be some um, rekindlement. There will be some harmony that will be restored, some forgiveness, understanding, and eye-opening situations, all right? Money will still be there. Okay, you know that you will always have that kind of life that you always dreamed of because you know how to work hard. You don't even mind working from scratch because you can make it, you know, you, you can make it flourish. You're good at that. But love is something that's always been like a little bit difficult for you. Let's take a look at your Oracle cards.
Writer's group. Perfectionism. Recognition. Time management. Stay true to yourself. Law of attraction. Editor. Express your inner truth. Create or join writer's group to gain inspiration, friendship, and support. Perfectionism. Polishing your creative project is fine, but don't allow perfectionistic fear to result in procrastination. Recognition. You and your accomplishments are receiving appreciation and honors. Time management. Place your priorities at the top of your to-do list and don't allow distractions to deter your focus. This is what you actually need to really do. The time management. Stay true to yourself. Don't compromise or water down your ideas. Listen to trust and follow your inner voice. Law of attraction, keep your thoughts positive and surround yourself with positive people and situations and you will attract more positivity into your life. See, this is what I'm trying to tell you. The law of attraction, whatever you think, it will happen. So if you keep on thinking about your fears, the more you will be manifesting it. Editor, your writing or other creative projects benefits from outside help and support. Express your inner truth. Your creative work shines brightest when it reflects your genuine feelings and thoughts. Anyway, that's it for you for this week, Gemini. If you want to talk to me live on the phone and live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.